Hi, I'm Jason Finlayson, President of the Vancouver Island Real Estate Board, and this is your market update for January 2015. Sales activity across the Virab coverage area was down from last month. However, the benchmark price for a single-family home rose to $320,700, an increase of 3% over 2014. Benchmark pricing tracks the value of a typical home in the reported area. It's too early to say whether January's dip in sales reflect the initial signs of market uncertainty. When you consider the average house price in our area has consistently risen through 2014 and add continued lower inventory levels to the mix, there's every reason to believe in a positive market outlook. Overall, our housing market remains in balanced territory, which is a trend we expect to continue. I would like to take a moment to address the issue of falling oil prices in a weaker Canadian dollar. Although these two factors may negatively affect our economy, Vancouver Island might see some benefits. It's true that falling oil prices may cause job losses, and specifically those out of province working in the oil patch. However, there are jobs on the island that need filling, and the weaker dollar will attract tourists. Vacations here often turn into staycations, which is great for real estate. In the Virib coverage area, 196 single-family homes were sold on the MLS in January, down 8% from 2014 and 23% from last month. The average price of a single-family home was $340,743, compared to $318,628 in 2014, a 7% increase. When looking at the housing market, bear in mind that the overall snapshot isn't always an accurate picture of market activity. It may vary by neighborhood. If you're interested in statistics in a specific area of Vancouver Island, I would encourage you to visit our website or contact your local realtor. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Jason Finlayson, and this has been your market update for January 2015.